So there, so there are options, and I, I guess those options can meet people, you know, what suits you better. If you're good at taking a daily pill, as you say, you can reduce your risk to practically zero. Uh, but the vaginal ring, how, how effective is that in prevention? The vaginal ring reduces your chances of getting HIV by about 30%. But there are researchers who are busy with implementation trials and some of the data shows that it actually works better in the real world. In other words, it's all to do with adherence and that it could possibly work a little bit better than that. We've come such a long way since the days of AIDS denialism, uh, led by Thabo Mbeki, the president of the time, um, and not having um, options of any treatments. Um, but still we have some challenges. Talk me through those. So in terms of treatment, in other words, the stuff that we spoke about now are for people who don't have HIV. They're HIV negative and they take medicine not to get HIV. But when it comes to treatment in South Africa, so people who are already HIV positive, we have the largest HIV treatment program today, which is quite remarkable given where we're coming from. So we've got about 7.8 million people in South Africa with HIV and 5.7 million of them are on treatment. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about treatment is that it's also prevention. Because if you take your treatment correctly, then the amount of HIV in your body becomes so low that you can't infect another person if you have sex. Mm -hmm. So if people, the more people who are on treatment, they don't just live longer, they also can't really transmit the virus to anyone so that's quite a remarkable place where we've come from where we are now in terms of figures you know are we still the epicenter of the pandemic well we still have the most people in the world with HIV but we no longer have the highest prevalence rate in other words the proportion of people with HIV we've got 13.2 percent of the countries HIV positive if you look at countries like Lesotho and Botswana they have higher prevalence rates that's very